I'm going to do a haircut Takashi taught me. I'm going to work to Chad a little bit and give him a little visual. We're going to take the front side in here. I'm going to give her sexy long hair. She checked me out on video. I worked in my salon. Go, whoop. Don't do that to me, Jesus. Let me have it just a few more, more minutes. I'm working in the salon and a walk-in came in. I noticed something peculiar. She had no hair up top. She just recovered from chemo. And one of my kids was out getting lunch. She goes, she'll be right back. I said, let me have it. So I sit her down in the chair, consultation, really spend time with her. Off she goes to the wash house. When I come back to go cut her hair, she's Googled me. <laughs> she's checked me out on the internet to see, check my qualifications. I love that. So this young lady did the same thing. And when she seen me cut hair with a fork, <laughs> she's like, I don't know if this is my guy. But I'm going to show you that it's about everything in hair, not one thing. So this is a long stroke. We're going to put some beautiful fundamental layers in here. Our cameraman is right next to me. This is Chad. Uh, he's helping. Yeah, give him a round of applause. It's not easy filming these. So this is the stroking technique. So you're opening and closing. I'm moving my body. So if I get in there, just to keep you straight, Chad, I'm going to move her. So every time I'm getting closer to the back, I'm not staying all in the front. She has too much hair for that. But I'm actually maintaining the length. She's not getting anything off her bottom. Her bottom stays the same. I'm just working on the internal layers. So dry hair is a very interesting kind of phenomenon because when you're cutting dry hair, what you see is what you get. So when you're going in and stroking, you're just loosening up the hair. I go one past the center. Don't forget where layers live. They live on the top side. So I'm top layering through all the way to the other side. Let me go to side two. Side two looks similar, but let me tell you where the problem starts. You pull the hair in. It's very difficult for me to go from the bottom to the top. So what I do is I pull the hair down. I re-grip the hair with my fingertips. Tips, not tits. Fingertips to the top. <laughs> She's laughing now in Russian. People laugh in any country. Takashi and I went to Japan. He, the Japanese distributor said, don't try and make them laugh, Robert. They don't laugh here. I had them laughing until they wet their pants. It was my haircuts, but hey, either way, they laughed. <laughs> State board laughed at me a couple of times, too. <laughs> so you see how this works? It's a stroke, so I bring it in. I reverse my hand, fingertips up, start the same process, middle of the scissor, middle of the scissor, just working all the way down. Sexy hair will never go out of style. Women are always going to love sexy long hair. Long hair is always trending, but the face frontal part is the part I want to really get you excited about. Stroking is a beautiful technique. I'm going to add a little more here just to open up the face. Very important for me that I get a good face frame. 90% of what I do for long hair is just frame it. Anything you don't like, independent cutting. Everybody keeps radio cutting, doing it like state board's going to come in and check your work. I've <laughs> so what I'm looking for is an independent way to create layers and structure that can be very identified, almost like a Christmas tree when you're decorating a tree around the holidays. And now I'm just picking up some random surface hair. This is a technique developed by Takashi. He does it on wet and dry hair. But I just want to do a little bit of sex, sexy hair. Ask any woman, can I cut your hair? The answer is pretty much no. Can I make your hair sexy? The answer is always yes. And the thing I like about this particular scissor, it's got to be a little longer than some of the scissors we use to get a real balance to the edge of it. What I'd like you to do is give it a, let's stand you up. Yeah. Don't worry, it's my dress, it's not yours. <laughs> I look awesome in it. Yeah, you felt that, didn't you? <laughs> That's the only reason I brush my teeth. <laughs> yes. See where that went there? Real simple framework, dry hair. Why not dry it, treat it first, and then put the dry icing on the cake? It doesn't need much. You're beautiful. You want me to do it? I feel like, come on, she's such a goddess. You're a young lady, so I know it's your own teeth. So I want you to put your head upside down just softly, yeah? You learn a lot about a client like this. You ever do this? If a client does one of these, and then you spray, and then she whips it back, she's a stripper. <laughs> I'm not judging, because I don't really want them to flip it back. That's a TV show. So here's what I'm going to do. One of my favorite sprays, Extra Body. I want to get the hair. It's almost like teasing hair. I want to get the weight off the edges. 
I also don't want to get too close. It makes the hairspray too freaking heavy. Get distance from a distance is the song I sing. So we come in, light air. Sunday's on a photo shoot. I'll get up underneath it. Sometimes I'll get down in here. I just, I, I just missed. I think I got a hole in my pants. I just remember I have a hole in my pantyhose. I'm not done yet. The other thing I like about this is a little bit of alcohol in it. So I am getting high every time I spray. I love the client in the salon. He's like, does that have alcohol in it? It's not like your hair gets a hangover. <laughs> alcohol helps it dry. I'm out of breath just getting off the floor. I'm going to bring it up slowly. Yeah. Where is she? I lost my model. Oh, you got gorgeous hair, girl. There she is. Victoria's Secret. Sexy mama. Take a little walk. Takashi, want me to do yours? Oh, you want to cut my hair? 